Hello everybody, and in this in this video we'll be going over and making a slideshow on the Chromebook again. This is my second shot at taking this video again today because um, I lost the first one for some reason. So hopefully this should be the last and final time I should we should um make the slideshow video. I did make a slideshow video yesterday, but um. I showed you the uh, Wong slideshow, as I will explain to you in a bit. So, you know, that is what we'll be going over making a slideshow on Chrome OS again today. A few things first, subscribe to my channel and like my page in the description. We've recently reached the 100 subscriber mark, so subscribe to my channel and make sure the notifications are set to all. Okay then, so slideshows can be made in various ways so the most popular way is to install a video editor and actually assemble together all your photos and videos if desired to make one slideshow but some video editors do involve a lot of tweaking to make the slideshow to make the pictures you know present themselves properly in the fact that they don't slide too quickly or they don't slide too slowly um so that is one problem that you may have with some video editors and another problem which i had was the uh, picture was showing in a screen within a screen uh, so that was the my movie video editor app so we're going to show you how to eliminate both problems and kill two birds with one stone. Now I personally like to make music with my slideshows so we're going to show you how to assemble your music first because again you don't want to be too erratic with your music choices so some people might play music straight out of their music collection but it's good to assemble your music so you start off smoothly and not be too erratic so as you can see I've got my music collection you can use Google Play if you want to uh, but you need to make sure that your music is downloaded to your device first again we'll explain that later so as you can see I've got quite an array of music here and some of that can be a little bit erratic <laughs> so to eliminate this problem I do two things so I copy some music that I want to play out of my collection to my download folder and as you can see, I've got them. I got some numerical MP3 files. So those are files which I have decided that I want to start off with and gradually go up B and then slow again. Again, this is a very delicate art of music assembly, so it's easy to label them in numerical order. Preferably, you can do alphabetically, but I prefer numerical. So we're starting off with Elton John, Saturdays, Jason Mraz, and some Beyonce there. So again, that is how I assemble my music, or part partly assemble the music. The heart of the music assembly is in a MP3 merger. So if I open the merger for you all, no current, no, no, no current from a no. Cur oh. Hello, with new MP. If it will, if it will open, that is. But anyway, in the merger, you've got a list of audio files. So what you can do is you can merge all your files together to create one single audio file and this mp3 merger 
is very easy to use. So you've got your you've got your uh, list of songs here in numerical order, and this is why I chose to put them in numerical order because again, if you select random tunes, you might select the one the the one the wrong tune or the incorrect tune. Sorry. At the wrong time, so that is what you've got to take into account. Now, I have already made one merge, so we're going to go and listen to that in a minute. So, this one is called Slides, and if I fast forward. And that's all one audio file. So obviously to make a slideshow, you will need to download your pictures uh, to your device. So what I'll do, because I'm using a screen recorder, I would like to get myself set up first. So I'm going to open my audio file and then go to my picture folder. And as you can see, I've got a lot of photos. So I'm going to start with the photo that I want to start off with first. You don't have to go all the way to the beginning. One thing to do, however, is to close all non-essential windows. So I'm going to close the file, the files app, rather, and I'm going to keep the slideshow and the audio file playing. Next, you'd need to have the Toxic Screen Recorder uh, installed on your Chromebook. And again, this is a very good app. However, you can't close the app while the uh, screen is recording. And I know this may sound obvious, but the reason why is the app doesn't record in the background once closed. So when you close the record, when you close the app, the recording stops right there and then, and there's no way of getting that back. Uh, so, that is something to take into account. Uh, make sure that you've got your system audio uh, checked because, again, you don't want to capture ambient audio, audio rather. So, there we go. Now, this, now, you will have to record the slideshow in this way to avoid the picture in picture problem and numerous video editing problems which I describe. It will put your Chromebook out of use inconveniently. However, one thing I do do is I use my other device and set a timer going after doing some calculations. In fact, let me show you how to do those now. Audio player. Toxic settings. Stop record. Let download. Download. 